Hey friends, hope you're having an amazing Sunday. I am currently at home. I've been in front of my computer the entire day, just editing. It's been pretty uneventful. And I still wanted to make a video for today. So I thought I'd talk about uh, or answer a question that I was asked in a previous video. So some of you may be thinking about making your own videos or your own channel or just your own content because I highly recommend it. It doesn't matter what field that you're in, it's good to have your own social media. It's good to be able to communicate through a camera. So one of the questions that someone asked is, how do you talk in front of the camera without it feeling awkward? Because the person mentioned that when he rewatched his videos, he found it awkward. And I think this is very common. I find that within my own videos, uh, especially in the past as well. So the problem that I ran into was I thought I had to be overly excited, overly dramatic, or just over what I normally am. Because before, when I watched TV, there was always this um, host voice, welcome to the show, blah, 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 like magnificent. Or sometimes I'm watching some really popular videos online and the people are just like so over the top dramatic and they're getting a lot of views. So I thought maybe the way that I'm speaking to you right now wouldn't be enough. People wouldn't be interested. So I found myself exerting more energy than was necessary or being overly loud. Just not me. And when you're not yourself and you watch that replay, of course, you're going to find it awkward. So just take a deep breath. And just relax. Even if you're talking casually, if you can relate to people, if what you're bringing is of value, if you're just sharing a mood, then that's enough. I mean, take my videos, for example, on this channel. I just really want to talk to you with you, with you guys and just share what's going on in my day. So if I'm feeling excited, then I'm excited. If I'm not, then that's fine. I'm like right now, I'm in a little out of breath because I think I've been sitting here this whole time and my blood circulation is not going where uh, it should be. So that's how I'm feeling. So a good tip that I would have for you if you were thinking about improving your speaking in your videos is to imagine you're speaking with a friend. That's what I do. That's why I say, hey friends, so that I remind myself I'm speaking to my friends here. I'm not making some sort of show here. It's just me talking to you. Some people I've heard, they also, they like the presentation idea because perhaps you're presenting an idea maybe a theory or you're sharing what's so good, maybe your box opening, what's so good about this water? So in that case, you can imagine you're in front of a meeting room with a couple people. Don't imagine like all the thousands or hundred thousand people that are gonna watch your video because that'll just be intimidating. But let's say I have one person there, one person there, another person there. I'm just giving you a presentation. So today I have this cup of water here and I'd like to share it with you guys because I think it tastes magnificent. It tastes delicious. And I like this water because blah, 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 A point, B point, C point. You can do presentation style as well and there's nothing wrong with that. I personally like it where I'm just speaking with a friend, whatever is on my mind. And that way we can laugh together, we can share ideas together and it's just very casual. Now it also depends what type of audience that you would like. So you may find that some on videos online, people are over, over the top, like dramatic, ha ha ha, bang, bang, making loud noises, and they're getting a lot of views. Most of the time though, when people are doing that, their audience is probably for kids, uh, people younger, which have less attention span. They just want something exciting, boom, boom, pow. So if that's the type of audience that you're going for, yes, Perhaps you need to raise your energy. Perhaps you need to dumb down your words, be a little more over the top. But if you're looking to be authentic to yourself, I mean, maybe you're that type of person. If you are, then that's great. If you're not, just be authentic with who you are. Because like for me, I'm an introvert, but I like to do exciting things. So when I'm outside outdoors and I'm doing something like an ATV, because I'm editing my video right now, and for example, I'm on an ATV and I'm super excited and I'm passionate about it. Of course, I'm going to be loud and over the top. But if I'm just at home chilling, speaking with you guys, then it's uh, more uh, 
I wouldn't say monotone, but it's just very chill voice, and that's how I like it. So try it out for yourself. See what suits you. If you're a very extroverted person, let it out. You don't need to hold it back because the good thing about creating your own content is you can edit it after. I personally like these videos really raw so you can get the real feel of what's going on. But if you make a mistake, one, you don't have to upload it. Two, you can cut it out. No one will ever know. I mean, you may see some cuts, but it's fine. Uh, and you can also, if you're not very articulate, write out exactly what you want to say. It's always good to have your main points so that you don't feel like you're wasting your audience's time. If you would like to present something, then have a what are you presenting, the problem or the solution, and then what do you think about it? It's like writing an essay, beginning, middle, end. And then that way when you're talking, you don't get off topic. You can occasionally, but always stay near to what you want to talk about or what you want to present. And I think that's about it. Be casual and record often. You can, I've made hundreds of videos. I I'm, I'm, might even be at a thousand maybe because of short uh, IG stories, Facebook stories, just sharing my day, all sorts of videos and practice makes perfect. I mean, you're not looking for perfect, but you'll improve. So keep on making videos, keep on sharing them and take feedback from other people. The audience will let you know. Like, for example, I like to move the camera around and. In the beginning, I did that way too much. So people got dizzy and I found out, okay, let's keep the camera more casual. I mean, I don't like to keep it stationary because I like to show people what's going on, but you kind of live and learn. So hopefully that helps you with your videos. Um, the more you do it, the more confident you become and understand that if what you have to say is a value and you're sure you're point of interest is to help the other person, then don't worry about the mechanics. Don't worry about the delivery. You can improve on that. As long as you really want to bring value to someone else, I'm sure the other person, if they're interested in the topic, they'll just appreciate it. That's about it. I am going to continue editing. Just wanted to make a video for today as well. If you enjoy these type of tips videos, um, you can drop a like. Also, Continue commenting down below. I'm really, really loving the engagement. I read every single one of your comments and I look forward to more video topics that you guys are interested about. And if there aren't anything that you guys are interested about, I'm just going to continue going on, sharing my day, what's been going on, what's on my mind. Well, I'll see you guys in the next one. Have an amazing Sunday. Love you all. Bye.